Good evening. Huh. Slow news day, huh? Um, I want to begin by expressing over the past two and a half years, the United States has taken a series of purposeful strategic steps, both at home and abroad, to strengthen our country and our standing around the world. Uh, we've made historic investments in our infrastructure, technology, industrial capacity, competitiveness. We've deepened our engagement and alignment with allies and partners around the world in ways that would have been unimaginable a few years ago. That's the backdrop for the relationship between the United States and the People's Republic of China, one of the most consequential in the world. Both the United States and China have an obligation to manage this relationship responsibly. Doing so serves the best interests of the United States, of China, indeed, of the world. We are clear-eyed about the challenges posed by the PRC. The United States will advance a vision for the future that we share with so many others, a free, open, stable, and prosperous world, with countries upholding and updating the rules-based order that has, for years, safeguarded peace and security globally. To shape that future, we start with diplomacy, including with China. Here in Beijing, I had an important conversation with President Xi Jinping, and I had candid, substantive, and constructive discussions with my counterparts, Director Wang Yi and State Councilor Chin Gong. I appreciate the hospitality extended by our hosts. In every meeting, I stress that direct engagement and sustained communication at senior levels is the best way to responsibly manage our differences and ensure that competition does not veer into conflict. And I heard the same from my Chinese counterparts. We both agree on the need to stabilize our relationship.